Hey everybody, uh, it's been a long time since I made my last video. Um, <clears throat> the the wife and I have been we've been a little sick <laughs> in the last last few days. Um, yeah, we've caught some kind of bug that's been going around the town. Um, I've been hearing lots of lots of people talking about <laughs> getting a cough and a chest cold and all that other stuff. So. It's been fun. Um, I'm kind of just getting back into the swing of things, but um, yeah. So I wanted to talk about um, what's kind of going on a lot lately. <laughs> it's been a lot of stuff that's been happening on the comics gate front and in the media. Um, you know, I was uh, I've commented on a couple of different YouTube channels, and no one seemed to talk about it. But so I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, you know, on Facebook. I mean, most of the time, most of these YouTubers, are, they're, they're pretty big on, like, Twitter for whatever reason. Um, Twitter's kind of lame as far as I'm concerned. It's you, you get, like, a handful of characters and you just put out whatever. You know, there's not really a whole lot of interaction. I mean, Ethan Van Skyver already said that he just kind of gets in and gets out. It's like kind of like taking a dump at a McDonald's. You know what I mean? You just drop your load and you move on to the next location. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, out on, uh, Facebook, there was a couple guys holding it down on the Outhousers page. Um, kind of got a little bit under Outhousers skin a little bit when, uh, uh, because they just, it was a long conversation. There was a lot of posts, a lot of comments, and a lot of retorts. It was pretty cool, man. Um. And I just wanted to say that, you know, I've been keeping my eyes open on, on Facebook and um, <coughs> um, and there's a lot there's a lot more comics gate people coming out, uh, especially for like against like CBR and comicbook.com and outhousers and stuff and really just kind of laying it on them, you know, like what the movement is really about. Uh, and you see the people you see you definitely see some of these people that are I don't know, it's like they're pre-programmed to just go, oh yeah, all those guys, yeah, they're all sexist, bigot, racist, blah, 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 and it's just like, you know, uh, y you've you've seen some people, there, or they'll be like, you know, oh, they're homophobic. Well, then you'd see somebody who goes, uh, I support Comics Gate and I'm gay. So it's like, okay, so... You know, the, the, these people, they, they, they won't comment. They will not comment on something like, you know, about that. Um, they just kind of really just ignore that person and then they'll go after, then they'll go after the race or they'll go after somebody else who, you know, might not be as quite as articulate or, um, uh, you know, doesn't have a, a, a victimhood status as the industry likes to think. But, um, one of the things that I noticed um, about anti-gators is that they like to say that comics gate people, they don't collect comic books. So, I just wanted to make a quick video here. This isn't even, like, this is just my trade collection. I've got, I've got some over in the other corner of my room. Here, I've got, it's kind of a mess in the, in the spare room since we, we, we moved in here. Um, only like a little while ago, we just haven't had the time to straighten up anything. So, <coughs> Ugh. sorry, we just haven't had time to straighten up or unpack some stuff. We've just kind of left it be. You know, my wife was my wife was pregnant when we moved in here, and you know, I've just been you know, uh, I had to go and get a new you know a new job and stuff after the uh, the old job fell through. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so we have, I mean, tons and tons and tons of books, you know, I think that, uh, this, this would be an important thing for many YouTubers to do, and, uh, even just comic book, you know, comic skater fans, like, if you guys would make videos and take your pictures, you know, take, take pictures of your collections and post it, you know, I mean, it's we there's it's a lot of lying from anti gators like this is the thing so we have to like so it's not just that we have to combat you know um, bad imagery 
you know, and, and bad perceptions. But we have to combat against, like, lying, just outright lying. Like, people saying that, you know, oh, you guys don't read the com- you don't read comic books. You don't support the industry. You're just here to raise a ruckus. Which is, of course, projection. You know, as we know, that's just SJW projection because it's... We are the fan base, you know? That's why we're pissed off is because we've invested. I mean, look at... I mean, with this whole collection of mine, I probably could have bought, what, at least another car with just the money from these trades alone. Maybe a, a, a really nice car I could have bought. But instead, I bought people's books, and most of the people's names on these books are have turned out to be giant fucking dickheads. So, pardon my language, but, I mean, it's the truth, you know? One of the things about... The, one of the things that makes me so mad about the Jeff Lee Meyer thing is, um... Man, I really loved his Animal his Animal Man run. Don't get me wrong, I liked uh, Grant Morrison's Animal Man run. That's where I uh, really got started. Um, before New 52 came out, uh, well, a little bit before New 52, because they announced that the Animal Man comic was going to come out, and I was really, and I was pretty interested in that, but I wanted to read the old run, so I started buying up all the old run, and was reading that right up until the, uh, the new, the new run by Jeff Lee Meyer came out, and I read that, and then I've been collect, finished, and then I finished up the rest of the, uh, Vertigo, 80s, 90s, uh, Vertigo run, but, um, so, one of the things that I had bought... Uh, <clears throat> as a reward once I lose my weight is I got an Animal Man costume here and I was hoping to cosplay in because I really like the character and uh, really liked his his run and I was hoping that maybe once I lost more weight uh, and, and, and fit it properly because <laughs> it just kind of looks like I'm you know like I mean the arms and legs fit really fine um it's just, uh, it looks like I'm, sm you know, sm uh, smuggling a pillow in the front. <laughs> so I have to, you know, I gotta work on that. Um, but, uh, so it's one of the hard things. It's, it was kind of one of the hard things about that. Um, and the fact that he took that such a, kind of just a dumb stance. You know, I mean, it's one thing if you want to take a stand against people who are, being jerks, um, I think that that's something that uh, in Comics Gate, I think f for the better part, I think we could do better as um, rebuking those kinds of people. Um, when I was under my previous channel name, um, and <clears throat> Ethan had Dan Slot on, or was it, was it Mark Wade? I think it was Dan Slot. Um, you know, I, the guy, I don't think he's deleted his comment off of my very first video. Uh, yeah, I think it was Dan Slott. Um, the, he, I was, you know, because the guy, the, that other guy, he kept using the, uh, the N-word. And I don't like to use that word, personally. Um, so, but he was using the N-word tons and tons of times. And, you know, I stepped in and told him, like, hey, dude, don't talk, don't, don't use that kind of language, you know. You know, that's that's not a word that's welcomed within our community. That's not a word that I'm sure Ethan welcomes into his home. But the guy just wouldn't stop. And uh, eventually somebody had to... I think Ethan made somebody a, uh, a moderator and had to have that kid kicked out. I mean, he came after me when I made my uh, rebuke... Or not my rebuke, but um, my response video to the dance lot thing and everything that was happening out of that. Uh, he commented on my page, so um, if he hasn't deleted his stuff, he's still on there as far as I know. Um, it's been a while since I don't, I don't remember that guy's name. but uh, um, So I think we could do better in general when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, it's, it's not, it's, okay, it's not necessarily about censorship, you know, it's, it's not that, but it's that we, we have the truth, we have facts, you know, we have the higher ground because, you know, we are a movement that's pushing for, you know, truth and honesty and integrity, and so we do need to make sure that we keep that within ourselves as well as we as we move on and you know i know that i'm i've 
you know, I've gone tack dog a couple of times on, on, on in certain circumstances, and you know, I should uh, learn to exercise a little bit of control in that manner. And I'm sure there's a lot of other people who, you know, who are kind of the same way. Um, but uh, I think that we could do better in that, so that way we don't become like them because we're not them, you know? We're not a bunch of fake losers who, you know, who claim we want, ra you know, racial diversity, but act like a bunch of heathenous, godless, ra you know, racists, you know, like Gabby Rivera, who thought interracial couples are an abomination. I mean, that's, that kind of stuff is repugnant. And that's not what we're about, you know? We have, Latino people, we have black people, we have white people, we have Asian people, we have gay, straight, and lesbians, and we have men and women, we have adults and children, and we are the fans, and we can, yeah, I think in a lot of ways we could do better. I think that some of the pros can do better um, in doing things, you know, there's a lot bigger voices than me, uh, you know, and I, is, um, there's, there's, they, they, I mean, they could do better in doing things and making sure that, uh, you know, people um, try to keep their noses clean on things. But, uh, I mean, but they're also not responsible for everybody. I don't, I don't hold, like, you know, like, um, you know, like when that one uh, jerk started going after Darwin Cook's wife by saying, he said something like, uh, uh, he probably died just so he can escape from her or whatever. I mean, that was too far. That was a too far of a statement, man. That was so rude, you know. But it was it wasn't it wasn't fair that his his widow went after Ethan and was saying, you know, like, you know, what are you gonna do about this guy? Well, you know, Ethan's not responsible for that guy. Ethan's responsible for Ethan uh, when it comes to social media stuff. Um, I mean, as being one of the bigger voices, when it comes to, like, Kickstarter stuff, okay, yeah, maybe then he's, I mean, he's, he has a little bit more responsibility there, um, but it's not that he's responsible for the, for the creators and their content, what he, what he should be, um, what he's kind of responsible for is, is really kind of helping other people kick their projects up and get their projects out and get it known, you know, so, uh, I mean, chances are he'll probably never see my videos anyway. I mean, <laughs> so, but it'd be cool if he did. And I mean, if he did and he does watch this, I mean, the only thing I would recommend is maybe like one Saturday out of the month, you, you know, he, he grabs five different Kickstarters and promotes them in a video and that's it. That's all he needs to do. It could be in a live stream. It could be in a, a made video, you know, an edited video or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, but just five projects and just... You run through them, and then you move on to the next topic. And that's it, just once a month. I mean, that's all you have to do, you know? That's not, I mean, that's not, that's not time consuming, you know? You just pick five, have people submit their, their, their stuff. And, you know, he just picks five and any leftovers, just keep them for the next month and grab a couple more, you know, whatever, doesn't matter. But anyway, um, but that's my thoughts on the last few days, uh, what's going on, um, so, like I said, I just, I would recommend that people just kind of take pictures, you know, take pictures, take video, show everybody. Oh, this got, my poor comic got sun bleached from the window over there. And some Nightwing stuff. I got a bunch of loose books hanging out up here. I got a bunch of steel. Love steel, man. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is like... One of my favorite series. I love it. Honestly, I mean, back in the 90s, I loved Steel way more than I liked Superman. It was crazy. Um, a lot of it was because, uh, you know, like, I, uh, my mom, I, I was raised by a single mom. My dad was gone. He was I'm gone. He up, up and left us and, you know, went out for a pack of smokes and never came back kind of deal. And, uh... So Steel, uh, one of the things that drew me to Steel was the fact that he had a really close family uh, bond, and uh, so that's what really attracted me to that book, and I collected a lot when I was a kid. Um, a lot of my books when I was a kid got lost, sadly, 
and I mean, I had like I had dish, uh, Deadpool issue one from his ongoing in the '90s. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. I I don't know where that it went because that book's worth quite a bit of money now, and that'd be nice to have. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to sell that book and <coughs> and uh, make a little bit of money from it. But um, yeah, um. You know, I, gosh, I wish people would comment more on my videos and so I can have more conversations. Um, I mean, if anybody would be interested, I mean, I'd love to do some live streams. I'd love to just talk to people. It gets a little frustrating just talking into a camera and talking to nobody, like talking to my books and my shelves and my walls and, you know, so it'd be fun to be able to talk with people, um, you know. Uh, especially within the comics gate community. I mean, I would love to hear like everyone else's reasons. Like, why did you join? Like, what was it? You know, was it that you were just a normie before and then you kind of just started discovering people's, you know, creators, toxic, um, social media accounts? Did you, you know, did you, uh, did you just get sick and tired? Of like cross like constant crossover events and garbage tier writing and artwork and then you just started grouping up with other people and then like just kind of discovered the community I mean what was the, what was the reason why you guys joined um, I'll make a video you know I think I will I think I will I'll make a video explaining why I joined um, and everything like that so I'll do that for later uh, anyway this video is getting a little long Talk to you guys later. Bye.